So tag team specifically is what I call fastball special. And it <laughs> specifically <laughs> is a thing that everybody wants to do inside of, of, of tabletop RPG, which is you want to invoke the awesomeness that is video game combat. My first video game ever it was Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. Um, and inside of that, which is a role-playing game, you had the ability for all of the characters to start one attack and then the other person, another or up to three, could all merge together to do a super-powered attack, you know? Like, Chrono would be spinning with his blade and Leah, Leia threw fire onto it and it was Flame Blade. That's what this is, is that this game wants you to be the master of your own destiny. And so it says specifically that there is this ability that each player can initiate once per session or long rest. I can't remember. It's session. It's session. Session. And specifically, when you do it, you get to describe how your characters work together. When I say that this game is pulling from all of these different rubrics, that this is a mixed material kind of game, this is a video game thing that I have not played a system that has. I'm sure I will be stand I will stand corrected at some point but I'm so excited for this fastball special by the way is specifically the mechanic where uh it happens a lot at tables if you have a large character and a small character is usually the way that you do this um so like a uh, a in this game a giant and a halfling that giant takes the halfling and throws them at the enemy and they come in swinging and usually the gm gets to add a little flavor advantage on it because it's a cool thing or maybe you pun pummel an additional d6 or something of damage damage into it but the fact that that is built into dagger heart is my favorite i want to see <laughs> magic spells that have this in place if my players do not bring some prepared fastball specials i'm going to absolutely lose it it is what i'm here for i'm so excited i'll have to make sure to get with uh kayla and chris to we'll go and work some of that stuff out please um, i want it so bad i'm so um, excited about to this to be clear she said giant picking up half leg it isn't always the throwing scenario it is just um uh, teamwork battling. It's teamwork. So, it's teamwork. Like, yeah, so, sure. So, sure, sure, um, sure. Well, I, you, you know, you're you there. You have a shield. Your other teammate runs and oh, you yeah, drop the... them up uh, into the air, and then they'd shoot from up high to get like the headshot. It's like, it's Aragorn throwing stuff. Gimli. You know, exactly across. Yeah, yeah. Don't it, tell it is, the elf. It, so much you can do with it. It is one of the mechanics that we kind of we talked about a little bit at the beginning with rolling for hope or rolling with hope and gaining hope um it requires three hopes to do so it's not something that is uh uh necessarily like a free thing to do once per session you have to have three hopes and you have to be set up for something um it's so exciting it is it is an exciting kind of Again, it, it it's exciting for me the idea of this like very loosey goosey initiative. It's it is the players being cognitive of not, and this is something that it happens on games, and it's not ever like anyone has like this idea in their head that uh, they're going to outshine in a certain scene but you have to be more cognitive about the people that you're playing with as far as like being uh, able to pass the torch so i've done my three actions maybe i now like say as i'm finishing my final sword attack or whatever it is that i've done in this in this combat um i bring up the fact that i slide in and i uh, slide next to one of my allies, leading them to like be able to like come in swinging next or blasting magic or whatever it is they're doing. I um, found it. 
It's called a tag team roll. I think that's the, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's called a tag team roll, you guys, and I'm obsessed with it. Each player can choose one time per session to Mm -hmm. spend three hope. Uh, And remember, Mm -hmm. hope are things that you will be accruing throughout the game. You have a maximum of five at any given time, so you want to be spending these as a player. But you can spend three hope. Mm, yes, exactly. Just like a barbarian's rages, you spend these, mm-hmm. but you can yeah. spend three hope and initiate a tag team move with another player character PC. When you do work with your chosen partner to describe how your two characters combine their actions in a unique and exciting way, both you and your partner make separate action roles. But before resolving the role's outcome, choose one of the roles to apply for both of your results. So you get to, it's basically advantage, but two player advantage, you know, like somebody gets to choose stuff. And if your tag team on an, an attack roll, if you tag team on an attack roll and it succeeds, you both roll damage as usual, then add it together to determine the damage dealt. It's incredible. It is powerful. It is thematic, huge, heavy role play implications. I will not stop talking about this. I don't know. I I feel like I, I feel like I talked to you about it before we started the stream, but in that idea of like that heavy damage, it just made me think of it again, but the critical damage in this game. Yeah. I I was telling, telling Rachel earlier, I sit at the table currently and we, we do, critical damage this way, but it's so, so smart. Um, when you roll and you do a critical hit in combat, um, you take the sum total of the dice you would have rolled, you make that maximum. So if you're rolling 2d8, um, you would just take a flat 16 because that's what you'd have two eight-sided dice hitting eight. You'd take that 16 and then you would add the additional 2d8 that you rolled to it. Um, which just, it really makes those criticals feel so much more impactful. It makes it feel like when you hit that critical that you can describe how awesome this is and it's going to be awesome versus when you're rolling and it's like you roll, you roll double damage dice, which sounds great in theory, but then you roll your four D eight and three of them are ones and one of them's a two you just did five damage and it doesn't feel very critical. (laughs) It guarantees big hits. And I think that's really beautiful. I had not heard of that before, but what a good solution to the problem of a critical, not feeling critical, you know, like honestly, sometimes you you get a critical with your dagger as a rogue and you're like, fantastic. I don't have sneak attack. I did two mm-hmm. damage. Thank you, exactly. everyone. Have a good night. Like, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. so sad. I played too many rogues. But. Uh-